Do you see the love in the people who are struggling for the earth dance? The sooner we work together, the more we we'll have a chance. For the love that sets you free, only love can set us free. Give us strength to live, and give us strength to work. For your education, for your food, for your people, for the nature of your place. Hi, it's April 15th, and uh, uh, I got an extension on my IRS, so I'm not worried. Um, anyway, what we're doing here is we're, I'm, I am trying to save the earth, and I want to challenge you to help me. Um, the way I'm trying to save the earth is um, I'm, I'm growing mycorrhizal fungi that I can inoculate my plants for next year. So I'm going to, I buy my mycorrhizal fungi now and then what I want to do is make it so that I can uh, uh, have, it, have my own supply of it. Why do I want to do that? Because it sequesters carbon. It forms an association with the roots of the plants and um, it will really help. If everybody did this, we could really turn global warming around. There are other things and I will cover those as I go. This is probably step one of the process. So what I've got here is this is compost made from grass and leaves. And it, you can see it's pretty well cooked. It's good. I mean, not cooked, but uh, um, it's worked through its process. So I'm going to put it in the five-gallon thing, and then I'm going to add vermiculite to it. This is vermiculite over here, and you need four to one... Uh, of this uh, material. Actually, I put too much in here. So here is the Bahia grass in a big plastic bag. I understand I have more than I will need in my in my um, my grandchildren's lifetime. And here I'm mixing it, uh, mixing some vermiculite um, with some uh, leaf and brush compost that was been sifted so we get the brush out of it should be leaves and grass kind of thing and so I mix uh, four parts of vermiculite to one part of this apparently we don't want a whole lot of nutrient in it uh, in order to get the desired result so we're going to inoculate the this is only step one of the whole process we're going to grow the grass the grass will then um, and we're going to grow them in these uh, deep cells here. Uh, you can see how deep they are. And I've just dumped out some of the vermiculite and soil mix in the bottom. But we'll put it all back in here in a minute. And um, uh, and the, these these uh, the Bahia grass simply is, acts as a medium for growing the uh, mycorrhizal fungi. And so we're going to have to wait till it matures and before we do all the steps I'll take you step by step with it we're going to grow them indoors first and then uh, we're going to do it outdoors and uh, um, in garbage bags and uh, the process will become clear as you watch it go through so if you want to do step one here it is um, thank you all right, now, uh, next step, I've got the uh, trays filled with the uh, medium, and I'm just going to, uh, David Dabbs, who's the authority on this, he really knows a lot about it. Um, anyway, I look him up, David Dabbs, uh, and on the Rodale site, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, with this uh, mycorrhizal fungi. So, he said I didn't need to inoculate it, but I make a lot of mistakes, so I'm going to double double up here. I'm going to put a little inoculant in each uh, cell and then I'm going to seed it with the put the inoculant on the bottom because you want the roots to grow through the mycorrhizal fungi so that they uh, the roots are infected by it. Now well, that's good for now. Okay now I'm going to put some uh, Bahia grass seeds in each one of the cells and hopefully we'll have a little patch of grass coming out of each one. And uh, when this 
when they're getting when they're really nice and big and then we'll transplant them into our uh, garbage bags and take them make sure they're outside by then we're going to probably grow these under lights because that's it's warmer and this is a tropical grass and I think that's one of the reasons that we use the tropical grass is that it wouldn't survive uh, the winter so okay that, so that's the next step um, okay here's how we're um, watering them keeping light on them uh, one is indoors it's too cool outside uh, it's just April and this is a tropical plant so I want them to get enough uh, heat to keep them growing as fast as they'll grow. It must be in the 70s in here in the room. Don't know exactly what the temperature is.